Good evening and welcome. Um, this is going to maybe sound like it's about me, and it really isn't, so just go with me with this. Some of you know, I'm from Brooklyn. I started listening to jazz in the 1950s as a kid, and for me, jazz is the trumpet and the saxophone, yeah, some piano, but that's, that's what grabs me as a kid. And then my uncle played the modern jazz quartet. I heard Milt Jackson's vibes and it grabbed me. And then that's how my life is gone. If it grabs me, I dig it. And so, Stuff Smith from the 40s with his violin, yeah. But Jean Lepante and Noel Pointer, their violins, grabbed me. Sarah Caswell. I didn't know about her. And then I got her CD. I listened. It grabbed me. So when the radio station said, anybody want to do this concert? I was the first one. And I said, I want to do this. Now, I don't know if you know her music, you've heard of her before or not. But I think if you have not heard her music, and this is the first time, it will grab you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Kelswell and the quartet. Oh my God. Oh, I meant the fashion model. <laughs>
The Sarah Cosmo Quartet. You know what I mean? It grabs you. It grabs you. Darling, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, he is different. I mean, I've seen a lot of guitar players, but he's like, he takes his time because the beat's going on. He's, yeah, but I don't, that's not the tempo I want. Let me do this again. <laughs> what control? Who is this guy? This guy is uh, Mr. Jesse Lewis. Jesse. Yes, thank you. And let's get away from the strings and go to the percussion. <laughs> I know you are. Who do we have? We have Jared Schoenig on drums. Hey, I've heard about you. Good, good. And then Brother Ike? Yes, Brother Ike Sturm, yes. <laughs> Ike also, you still work at St. Peter's? No, uh, a couple years ago. Okay, well, the Jazz Church in New York, St. Peter's over in Lex, he was the music director there for a long time. And then you did something wise. You joined a great band. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you've got some violins here. I do, yes. And one I heard was made especially for you. Yes, I was very lucky. So um, this instrument that you see on the floor. <laughs> Let me hold that mic for you. Oh, thank you. I'd be afraid to touch it. It looks so delicate. Yeah, this is a very special instrument. So um, this is actually crafted in the uh, tradition of um, a Hardanger violin, which is a Norwegian folk fiddle. Um, and what makes those instruments unique is that it has, um, like a violin, it has the, you know, the, the strings on top that you play. But the unique aspect of it is that it has a set of sympathetic strings that are strung underneath the fingerboard. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. Um, so if you've, um, you may have seen uh, photographs of, of uh, traditional hard angers. I think there are some in the, in the Met Museum in their instrument collection as well. They're traditionally very ornately decorated. They've got mother of pearl inlay all over the fingerboard and, and the tailpiece here. And they've got all kinds of uh, line designs that are etched into the wood. So um, the luthier who made this instrument for me kind of honored that tradition with some of those um, decorations as well. He actually also carved a lion's head scroll, which is uh, <laughs> something traditionally done. What makes this instrument unique is that it has 10 strings. So it has five on top and five underneath, and whereas the traditionals have uh, four on top and four underneath. It's slightly larger than a violin, um, and there are about 50 of these in the world. Um, I lucked into getting the third or fourth. Uh, a oh friend right. of mine in Seattle yes. had one, so. And yeah. this, the other is just a it's just a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, no, this one, uh, I have had it since I was about 12 years old. Oh, that accounts for it. Yeah, it looks like it's been around a while. It's been a while. Like a real classic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was made in 1905 in uh, Iowa. So um, it's, you know, it's not particularly, uh, I guess, you know, as far as in instruments being collectible, it's, you know, nothing special as far as that goes. But the instrument has always had a, a certain sound and a soul to it yes, that I yes, couldn't yes. ever let go. So that's why I've had it that long. <laughs> being a, a, a string area here, but I can only also say it's like uh, the guys who play tenor sax and have these really glittering, shiny tenor saxophones can't play. <laughs> it's the guys with the pretty look that tear into it. Mm -hmm, that's for sure. And so you're about to tear into it. Well, I'll be toward the end of the program. No, yeah. you got it in your oh, hand this now. One? Yeah, no, I'll play some, some notes on that. Oh, man. So. You guys okay? <laughs> Good. Thank you. 
That first piece that we played at the very beginning of the program uh, was entitled South Shore. Yes, <laughs> uh, that was written by a very dear friend of mine, um, a trumpeter you may be familiar with. Her name is Nadia Nordhaus. Um, she's a member of Maria Schneider's band. Um, Darcy or James argued, plays with all sorts of people all over the city. So um, she's a good friend of ours and wrote that piece for us. Um, the second selection you heard was an original of our bassist, Ike Sturm. Uh, it's a piece entitled Stillness. Uh, and then the one that we played just for you now is an Egberto Gismonti selection entitled Seven Rings. 
Uh, the piece that we're going to play for you uh, next is um, a, a lesser known Michel Legrand uh, selection, um, and it is uh, entitled uh, On My Way to You.
Sarah Caswell, the quartet. You guys are serious and beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. You can imagine the radio station would get emails every week, every day about a gig somebody's got or a recording. I sometimes get confused because it'll say Cosmo, right? Then I will look and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not the name I saw last week. It's your sister. So I go back and forth, oh, Rachel, oh, Sarah. Yeah, I have a, a, a sister, Rachel. She's an amazing uh, jazz singer, um, jazz vocalist. And uh, yeah, we've done some work together. We had a, an album come out in 2013 uh, that we collaborated on with Fred Hirsch. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, sh and she just did an album recently with Dave Stryker, a guitarist oh, that uh, is a favorite yeah. of WBGOs. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Now, Esperanza Spalding, you've worked with her as well. Yes. Um, I toured with Esperanza for about two years on her Chamber Music Society project, which uh, I think it came out in 2009 or 2010. Um, and we toured that project uh, through 2012. And that was the year, well, it was during those two years when she won the Best New Artist uh, Grammy. Uh -huh. um, and uh, she, she just really um, blew up and, and uh, yeah, gained a huge uh, fan, fan base. And it was just an, it was an incredible two years of touring. Um, she's an amazing artist, as I'm sure you all know. And having the opportunity to work with her on the road um, every night was just an, an amazing performance, having her as our, our leader. So. But you don't remember what year. That's what happens when artists were so busy, <laughs> so sought after, that they record all the time, 50 yeah. times in a year, yeah. and they forget what year did I do that. It was all, well, those two years were a blur. We were certainly traveling all over the world, and, um, but it was, you know, every, every performance we did and every stop we made was just an incredible memory. So incredible well, so with three guys with you. <laughs> for, don't you think this is an incredible memory for us? Yeah. Yes. I have one question. Yes. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to actually do an original of mine. Um, this is uh, a waltz that I wrote for, for my partner, Michael. And um, his middle name is Warren, so I entitled it Warren's Way.
Outstanding. I'd like to thank Yamaha for letting us do this and have a great time in a living room like this. And uh, WB Joe, I mean, all of you listeners that have supported the station and have great taste and know when to come out and hear some good music. Right, this is a, a piece by Antonio Carlos Chobim. I can't speak Portuguese. So um, this is the translation of what had to be.
I'd like to say a few thanks as well, if you don't mind. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank WBGO and, and Yamaha for, uh, for inviting us to be part of the series and to invite us into this beautiful space. Um, it's been a, a really wonderful afternoon and we've very much enjoyed being here with, with all of you. Thanks to all of you <laughs> for, for coming out and, um, and being with us and, and um, showing your, uh, you know, your uh, support for what we're, what we're doing. Um, I know for all of us, uh, COVID was a very difficult time when doing this, communing and having a chance to interact and be in the same space and share the same energy was something that we so sorely missed. So um, it's just wonderful and certainly not something I take for granted to be here with all of you and be able to enjoy that time together. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, John Newcott for having us. Um, it's been wonderful working with you. I'd like to thank uh, Ron Davidson and also uh, uh, Aaron Ross for um, doing sound back there. Very much appreciate um, all the efforts and all the uh, uh, energy that you put into making this possible. Um, and I also, of course, uh, want to thank the members of my band, um, without whom this music and this project would not be possible. So we have um, Jesse Lewis on guitar. Yeah. We have Ike Sturm on bass. And we have Jared Schoenig on drums. And also, certainly last but not least, I know he was introduced earlier, um, but I also would like to say thank you to um, the gentleman who was resp also responsible for this project uh, being made. We just released an album um, last month, actually this month, March 3rd, almost the end of the month. Um, and uh, that man is Jeff Levinson. And um, <laughs> yes. um, he's been a very dear friend of mine for uh, over a decade, um, was uh, a big part of why, you know, working with Esperanza and, and Rosanna Vitro and, and several people over the years. Um, but he's also just a very dear friend and a very, uh, you know, very uh, precious person to me. So thanks to him for being here and for supporting this project. Um, the last piece we're going to play for you is another original of mine, uh, and it is entitled Spinning. Thank you. 